So this tells me we're, we're recording? Yes, that's right. You are starting already. Okay. And you can begin well, the cluster. Where did that go? Okay, so I need to send her. No, you already sent. I did that. But, oh. Yeah. But she has it now. She has it now. Okay. And this one's yours. Did you click here? Okay. I'll do that. Sure. Hold, oh, hold on God. with me for just a moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Please. Okay. Please. So. This so is this yours. is mine. So yeah. she, I need to tell her to go move to the next page. Uh, I think so. Maybe you can ask her to see the first the pictures of her okay. presentation. Bia, if you would look at your PowerPoint that I sent you. Uh, the on online English lesson for intro instructor. For instructor, it's actually for students. Could you close the door, please? Thank you. Okay, tell me what you see. I see a lot of monster and grandma. Yes. And they said, I must write proper sentence. I must take care of my grammar. I must speak using proper English. I must improve my English vocabulary. Very good. And you understand why these four things are important for you? I do. Yes. Okay, good. Well, let's go ahead and you go on to the, the next slide. Mm -hmm. And let's have a look at that. Mm. Okay, remember how to move to the next slide? That's right. And you can just move, move up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, in the next one hour, you will hear into instructions from your ESL teachers to look at the pictures and questions associated with the picture on the next 20 PPT pages. Listen to your teacher's instructions carefully and answer his questions properly. Done. Very good, very good. So what I'm going to do in the next four, we're going to have four slides. Four? Well, we're going to have four slides after. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, I'm going to have you answer questions uh, on those slides, okay? So the first slide, that shows... It's this one? No. The speaking, listening unit. Okay, go this to This is already page 20. Just go back to the page one, actually. One? Yeah. One. And next slide, next slide, next slide. Yeah, that's, that's here. Okay. Mm. Right. Dad, could you read me another story? I read that one, the internet today. So what was the question? Okay, read, read it to me one more time. I'm sorry. Dad, could you read me another story? I read that one on the internet today. Okay, very good. And notice... Sir, can, can you just give me a second? Sorry, I, I need to increase the volume. I, I, I believe it's better. And now it's... Uh, I, I think it's not loud enough. Yeah, it is. I hear... I, do, do, is, it's not loud enough for you, Bia? Okay, let, let me see. I need to like increase the volume. Yeah. Uh, this is a volume. Yeah. Oh, I see. Speaker, microphone. Speaker. Hi. Mm -hmm. You better. Yeah, thank you. He's waiting. I'm waiting. Mm. Okay. I think, sir, that's going to be it's better now. Yeah. You can continue. <laughs> yes. Are you ready? Mm hmm. All right. Uh, one thing I want you to notice in, in that caption is Dad, could you read me another story? And then the next line, I read that one, one on the internet today. So you have read and read. They're spelled the exact same. Mm, the spell? They're spelled the exact same, but pronounced differently. I read that one. Yeah, one is present tense. One is past tense. Read, speak? read, read. Yes, uh -huh. yes. So, um... The first question is now, yeah, be careful to word read. Now, can you give me a synonym for the word story? You know, the sign is asking, can you um, can you read me another story? What's another word for story? Mm, in this picture, maybe the fairy tale works. Okay, that's good. That's very good. The, the yeah. sign would like to have another fairy tale read to him. All right, now, 
the, the sentence, Dad, could you read me another story? Can you say that in another way? Uh, Dad, I want you to read another story. Well, that is one way you could do it. Uh, what would be another way? Without saying, could you read me another story? Mm. Would you mind if I... Would you mind if you tell me other fairy tale? Fairy tale, good, good. Yeah, putting fairy tale in there is a great way you could say that. Dad, would would you tell me another fairy tale? Yeah. That would be one way you could do it. Good, good. Um, well, let's see. In the second line, we say, I read that one on the internet today. Mm -hmm. What does that one mean? Uh, the story that his dad is reading for him. That's exactly right. So it's the same story. Dad, I just read that today. Why are you reading me that one now? I want a different one. So what can be another caption that we could write for this cartoon? Another. Based on the cartoon, what, what's another something you could say about it? Mm. Anything. Like, Dad, I want to go to sleep. Could you turn the lights off? Yeah, that's great. You're still yeah. reading the newspaper. Like. Yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Now, let's go ahead and... Okay, good. Let's go to the, the next one. Okay. The next slide. Do you want me to read it? Yes, please. Day two hundred, day two seventy six. After sending out this that message in a bottle, stating my location, I've been bombarded with junk mail. Bombarded. 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 Yes. Okay. So, what do you think happened? Hmm. He's. Sending a message in a bottle to say the people that I'm grounded in the island, like, mm -hmm. I need a SOS. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's, like, getting a lot. Okay, that's right. So he probably, you would probably, from looking at that picture, think that, oh, he must have been on a ship. And that ship sank. And here he is sitting on this very small island all by himself. Right. Okay. Let's um. In in what's written here, the words stating my location. What's another way that you could rephrase that or replace it with another phrase? Announce where I am, or telling the people where I am. Um, think about your um, cell phone. My son, what? Your cell phone, your cellular phone. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a, a map function on that cellular phone? Mm -hmm. Do you know how that map function works? Yes. What does it use? How does that phone know where you are? Oh, is it like stating my location? Mm -hmm. Stating your location. Ah. How does how does that phone know where you are? Like north or south, west, east. Yeah, yeah. But it, it uses satellites to determine where you are. Satellites up in the in space, right? And those satellites are, are global positioning system. Mm. GPS. Yes. Yes. Okay. So he, you could say. Um, after sending out that message in a bottle, instead of stating my location, mentioning my position. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Now, um, what phrase could be used in place of bombarded with? 
I don't know what is bombarded. Mm. Bombarded is uh, when you get lots of things. Like if, if I send out a, a something in Facebook and say, tell me what you think of me. And 400 of my friends send me a message that tells me what they think of me. I've been bombarded with messages. Ah. Right? So uh, after sending out that message in a bottle stating my location, I've been made to deal with lots of junk mail. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Or, or I've had to, I've had to deal with a lot of junk mail. I sent this out there, and a whole bunch of stuff came back to me. Mm. So, when you say junk, what do we mean? What can junk? you substitute junk with? Mm. Not. It, it's useless. Exactly. Very good. Useless. Very good. And if you were to write another caption for this cartoon, what would you say? Mm. I want some beer, but I don't have money. So <laughs> I'm just like drawing a beer <laughs> bottle so I can get over it. That's great. <laughs> oh, goodness. Very good. <laughs> I'd like some beer, too. <laughs> That's a dream. so do I. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next slide. Yes. Um, yes, by can canceling our wedding cake order and baking our own, I saved us a bundle. Okay. You know, sir, can we just, in, in, can I just interrupt for, for a minute? Anytime. To try the earphone, maybe say, you know, uh, would you maybe you would like it better for the sound quality? I like this one. But try it, try it, you know, see, see which one that you, you prefer, which okay. one that you like better. And okay. uh, you have other one if you like. Mm. You know. mm -hmm. I don't like this. You don't like this, sure? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Okay, Bia. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Now you read that. By canceling our wedding cake order and baking our own, I saved us a bundle. What do you think the relationship is between these two students? These two people. They're going to be a family, like mm, husband and wife. Husband and wife, that's right. That's right. And um, Han, we're missing um, questions for number three, by the way. Is he coming back in here? Mm hmm Yeah, we're missing a question page for the teacher. Oh, really? I have answers. Yes, that's interesting, sir. That's really interesting. Um, how about let's do that? Come up with some questions for yourself. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just just uh, for uh, for this particular instance. Okay. Yeah. Um. Or sorry, there's other way that you can maybe just jump to other questions. Just go to other presentation. Okay. All right, well, tell me this. Um, in this phrase, mm -hmm. when he says, I saved us a bundle, what do you think he meant? Like, they saved some money? Yeah. A bunch of money? Yeah. Now, what do you think that woman is thinking? Mm. If that were you, if that were your future husband, and you walked in and you saw that mess back there behind him, that mess on him, and that cake. That's Get out of my house. Wedding cake, what would you think? Get out of my house. <laughs> get out of my no, house. And then get out of my house. There's no way you're making that wedding cake for us. No way. All right, let's get on to the next slide. Okay. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> Uh, the woman says, no, I didn't download you. You gave birth to you. I gave birth to you. Yeah, yeah. What do you think the, their relationship is between these two people? Mm, son and mother. Son and mother, that's right. Now, what do you think she means by download? Mm. I didn't download you. What does she mean? Like, I didn't make you to 
I didn't make you born. Well, if you're on your computer and you download something, what are you doing? Mm. I don't know. I have no clue. Well, when you download something on your computer, you are taking information from the internet and you're putting it on your computer. Okay? So you could be referring, you're putting data. That's actually a technical term. You're putting data from the internet onto your computer, mm. in your computer. So what she's saying is, no, I didn't take you from the computer and put you inside of me. Uh, I gave birth to you. Okay. Mm. Um, let's see here. A, A, D, transfer, C, D, A, D, C. Um, I think, uh, Hunga, I think we need to work on that question there on the teacher side. Um, okay, now what I want you to do here is take two sentences and make them present tenses. Present sentence? Present tense. Present tense. Yeah, rewrite the sentence. No, I didn't download okay. you. I gave birth to you. I'm sorry, hold on, dear. Downloading data referring to refers to data. Okay. So actually, this is time for students, but you know, we, we want to have a more uh, conversational type of lectures. So we should say, but it, it, this is actually. Uh, but yeah, we, 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 we are going to work on the designing of the curriculum. Uh, oh, okay. Throughout the course. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me go back to the downloading data question. Okay. Downloading data refers to, and this is multiple choice, okay? Um, A, editing data. B, transferring data. C, deleting data. Or D, saving data. E. Which, which letter? Saving data. Saving data. Okay. Um, it could uh, really, Hangal, I think that could either be transferring or saving. Um, actually, I think sir, that you have a point. Uh, I kind of agree with you because I, <laughs> but yeah, but on the other hand, sir, I, I think actually the transferring is probably a, a better way. Yeah. To say, it, yeah. it probably is because once you, once you download something, you still have the option of saving it. Ah. Running it. Um, so probably the correct term is transferring, um, but Hungal, that's probably a little too technical for this. Yeah. Just as we go through. Oh, really? Um, okay. Now, back to now. This the next one is is re. What sentence are they supposed to rewrite? Rewrite the sentence completely using the present tense. What sentence? I gave birth you, to you? Yes, I think so. Okay. Yeah. In the sentence, I gave birth to you, rewrite that for me using present tense. Mm. You are mine? Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Hold on, we're talking here. Just a second. Yeah, this, this is just these are not sentences you made up. Questions you made up. No, 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 it's not. Okay. But, but this is uh <clears throat> uh so let's share is free share presentation website. And I have modified it. So we need to modify it some more. Oh, really? You think so? I think so. You, you think this sentence is... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we need to look at that. Ben, thank you for being patient. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're learning as we go along here, okay? Um, 
Interesting. Okay. Yeah, uh, we got to work on that. Um, okay. Fill in the blanks, okay? Yeah. The, the, I think it's important that they don't have for that question to reject the teachers. No. Okay. Uh, let's just be uh, being flexible. Yeah. Okay. For, for conversation, though. Okay. Yes, all right. Well, all right. I want you to rewrite that the sentences for me. You know, in a, uh, write them in another way. Mm. No, I didn't download you. I gave birth to you. What, what, what could you say? You are born by me. No. Yeah, you could. You could. Um, what's another way we could say that? No, I didn't download you. I gave birth to you. Mm. Well, have you ever heard conceived? Yeah. You could always say that, that I conceived you. Your father and I conceived you. Mm. You know, conception is the point that, that fertilization of the egg and the sperm. So you could you could say conceived. You know. Conceived. Yeah, conceived. I conceived you. Yeah. Okay, let's go on. The next one. The next one. Read that one for me. Yes, the stakes are three hundred dollars. How else were we supposed to pay famous people to be in our commercials? You get the humor in that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, tell me about the humor in that one. Mm. They're trying to produ produce commercial, and then they wanted to put the famous people in it, and they're asking the waitress how much do they have to pay. Uh, yeah, the, all right. Most of that is correct. That last statement, you know, they want to put famous people in the commercial, and if you're going to put famous people in a commercial, you got to pay for them. And in order to pay for them, you got to charge a lot for the food. Mm -hmm. So that's that's where the humor is, is then that is. So what would be, if you wanted to replace the word supposed in that statement, what could you say? Mm. Pardon? I need... The word supposed in the statement? How else were we supposed to pay for famous people? Um, how else? Say instead of supposed. Supposed, like, how else were we should pay? Should? Should? Or how else could we pay for famous? Yeah. Yeah. How else could we pay for famous people? Okay. And what about the word famous? Famous? Yeah. What would be another uh, word? Famous. Well known. Well known. Good, good. And how about commercials? Mm, advertisement. Awesome. Great, 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 great. All right. All right. Go to the next one. Yay! Yeah, moving right along. Mm, customer service. There was nothing wrong with your computer screen. It just had cut hair all over it. What kind of hair? Cut hair? Oh, cat, cat hair. Cat hair. Meow. Cute cat. Okay. Where are, so they are, you've already said, they're at a customer service center. What do you do at a customer service center? Mm, I go there because when my computer doesn't work well, I and I wanted to fix it. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. yes. Okay. Good. Good. Um. And, and what was wrong with her computer? 
she may. What, what do you think was wrong with her computer based on what it says here? Why did why did she go into the customer service center with her computer? Maybe the button of the computer doesn't really work. Yeah. Because a lot of cat hair all over bottom of the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. What's another thing cat hair could have done? Mm. Now, obviously, this is a cartoon, so we we exaggerate a lot. So, what else could the cat hair have done to her computer? When she tried to use a computer, she sneezed a lot. Yeah, she could. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and there could have been cat hair all over the screen. Uh, she might have been like, oh, I can't, my, my computer's not working. Like, it's all white. Right, exactly. But it's just full of cat hair. Yeah. And, uh, oh, all right. Now, this is a, a little um, an innuendo here. Look at this woman, and uh, what color hair does she have? Mm, blonde hair. Blonde hair. Do you know what we, how we, um, how we talk about blonde-haired people? No. No. Well, we make fun of blonde-haired people here in the United States. Boys. It, boys or girls. We, there's jokes about blonde-haired people about how ditzy and dumb they are. Ditzy? Yeah, ditzy. D-I-T-Z-Y. Stupid. Why? It's just a it's just a joke. Oh. Okay. That blonde people are, are stupid and are not intelligent people. Mm. So you may hear somebody refer to a joke and say, "Oh, that's a blonde joke." Okay. Okay. That means you're just making fun of them because they have blonde hair. Mm -hmm. um, now, what if I would have said in this customer service thing here, there's nothing wrong with your computer screen. We just found strands of blonde hair trapped all over the keyboard. Hmm. What do you think that guy is saying? Mm. Like, uh, I have nothing to do with your computer. I lost you. Are you there? Oh, oh there you are. Oh. Okay. Okay, tell me again. Can you hear me? Yes, I yeah. can. Okay. 41 megabytes? Yeah. And the woman in the 